Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel of Rams Astro here and you'll probably guess by the intro it's birthday week once again. Is this the, f the third or the fourth year in a row that I'm showcasing my birthday presents? I can't remember. So this is me filming my first one on my birthday. I'm not sure if this will be the first video up but it's the first one I'm filming because these are the only physical presents I have at the moment. These are from my brother and his fiance, and I'll be recording videos probably with presents from my son, from my partner and whoever else in the family gives me presents over the next week or so depending when I get to see people. I know I'll be seeing my mate Chris next week. I think he said he's got some stuff for me. He's always donating to the channel so I'm expecting something. So let's have a look and see what my brother and his fiance has got me today. So the three things have got me. So we'll start off with number one they got me cleaning up the town remembering ghostbusters on blu-ray so those that don't know what this is it's a documentary about ghostbusters the fans basically everything about ghostbusters making the movies i've always wanted to watch this i've always wanted to watch it i just haven't got round to picking it up and i'm really happy my brother and his fiance got me this so i will most likely sit back one day put this on just put my feet up have myself a nice glass of flavoured water and have some fun and watch this. I cannot wait to get cannot wait to get that watch. It's going to fall over, so I'm going to lie down. I'm going to lie that bad boy down. The second thing they have got me is a solar powered NECA body knocker, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Everybody knows that Mr. Stay Puffed is my favourite thing in Ghostbusters, and you can see why he is a cute, cute bugger. Look at him. So this thing rocks back and forth. It's kind of like a bobblehead, solar powered once you've got it out of the box and it will just continuously move. I think my son bought my, my dad a Mr Bean one of these a few years ago in Blackpool. So I've got a rough idea what they, they go like. So there we go. So his legs move, his arms move, things like that. So put him in the sunlight to charge him up. Press the button inside the base and wait 30 seconds, second, 30 to 60 seconds for him to start rocking or knocking, as the box says. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'll ever take this out of the box. The funny thing is, both of these, I was looking at Amazon this morning just thinking, I've got a little bit of birthday money, what am I going to get? So I had a look at these exact things and even, even more of a quinkadink. I looked at something else and it happens to be the third present and final present that they got me. So they know me so well, they got stuff that I've been eyeing up for quite a while. So they've got me a Ghostbusters t-shirt of the, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I've not opened it yet because I'm going to put it in the wash before I wear it. So let me just put up a picture of what the t-shirt looks like. I'm very picky when it comes to images of Stay Puft because some pictures I really don't like how he looks, but I like this t-shirt and I've been wanting it for quite a while. I'm really happy to have this. So with these three presents, Ghostbusters themed, are very easy to buy for when it comes to buying me presents. Uh, extremely easy. The hardest part is trying to figure out if I already have said Ghostbusters items, but my brother's really good at figuring out what I don't have. So thank you again to you two for picking this up for me. I was really, really grateful. I'm loving these. I'll get this t-shirt washed tonight and I'll most likely wear it tomorrow. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get that t-shirt on. So thanks for joining us for this birthday week video. As I said, this might not be the first one up, but it's definitely the first one recorded. I'm going to have at least three to four of these videos, at least. So... Join me for the next one, or is this the last one? I don't know. Have a good one.